All right. Sorry about the inconvenience for those of you with classes today on Tuesday. Um, power issues on campus mixed with internet issues at home obviously doesn't lead to a very uh, productive class lesson. So essentially this is going to be video one that I want you to watch. This is going to be explaining the layout of Canvas, essentially the introductory sort of talk that I would have given you guys before the lesson begins. So please watch this so that you can see how this is all laid out and what you need to do. And then you can watch the, the next video for the tutorial on how to do the arm um, animation. All right, so on Canvas, we've tried to streamline this process as much as possible for you guys. On your home page, you'll find a link I've just added to the Google Meets call, so you'll always be able to access it there. Each of these little thumbnails over here represents one of our weeks. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And then we have our term overview, which I can run through quickly. So this term, we're going to be taking a brief introduction to 2D character rigging and animation techniques. We're going to be focusing on working with exclusively 2D characters in a 2D space, but we're going to be focusing on injecting emotion and life into these bodies. We have on this page a link to our brief. Now you can only get to this page by going through the home page and then clicking on term overview. All right, but the brief is also available in, in the uh, week one um, on Canvas as well. So essentially, to give you an idea, we've broken down this term into four assignments, force and weight animation, lip sync animation, character idle animation, and walk cycle. What I've tried to do is set it up so that when we um, are working with those assignments, we have enough time to finish a class exercise version, and then hopefully enough time to begin your own rendition for your final submissions. So in week one, this would have been the introduction to everything. Week two, next week, we'll be taking a look at the idle animation, character idle animation, um, and that is going to be an exercise for your first assignment. All right. Week three, lip sync animation, also one of your assignments. Week four, force and weight, and week five, also force and weight. So I've split force and weight up over two weeks, and I've split uh, the walk cycle up over two weeks just to try and make sure that we have enough time to get through everything without leaving anyone behind. All right. I've also got some links down here for you guys to the different weeks to dribble to the brief and to the meets link as well. Let's go to week one where we can take a look at the brief from there. If I open the brief, I would like you guys to please download this at some point and refer back to it as often as possible. I've set it up so that it's a bit of a roadmap. So essentially, the first pages set out what we will be doing in class during that specific week, what homework will be due at the end of that week, and if there's anything that needs to be brought to the following week. So for this week, we would have had our introduction course, that's this video essentially, the OSNAP um, class exercise, which would be the next video. Your homework will be the OSNAP assignment, which you'll find on week one page. I'll show that to you in a moment. And you don't need to bring anything to class for next week. In week two, we'll be taking a look at our idle animation. We'll be doing an idle character rigging and animation exercise in class. You'll then go home, follow the tutorial, and do your own version. I'll explain what uh, recording lip sync animation footage and all of that is when we get there next week. So you're welcome to read ahead, but I'll explain what needs to be done during each lesson as we begin that particular lesson. To give you an idea of what our assignments are, idle animation, we're going to be animating our character doing pretty much nothing. The length of that is going to be 10 seconds long. Lip sync animation, we're going to be using recorded footage that you guys will um, record for us as reference, and you're going to then animate a short monologue that conveys emotion, and that's going to be about 20 seconds long. Force and weight animation, we're going to be creating the illusion of a character interacting with a heavy object, say with a lifting, pulling, or pushing a, um, like a, a heavy brick wall or something like that. Um, and the final animation is going to be 20 seconds long, and then the walk cycle animation, which will be five seconds long. All right. And that's pretty much that for the brief. Jumping back across, Course Content Explored, this link simply takes you back to the Term 2 overview. So we don't need to take a look at that. I've got some great little animations over here that I would have enjoyed watching with you guys, but please do go give them a squiz. We've got an example of a animated or character animated music video. Uh, an infographic and then just an animated short film. So just a good taste of the three sort of major realms where we would use character animation in the industry today. In terms of class files, the only file that you need to download is the osnap.ai file over here. You can simply click on it. It'll open up this little preview window and you can click on download. All right, say close there. 
You don't need to worry about these two videos. They were just examples that I would have shown you in class, but you'll find exactly what you need to do for this exercise in the tutorial. For those of you who have never worked in Adobe Illustrator before, I do have a link here that I, uh, to a video that I made last year for the um, software training courses. It will take you straight to the part where I start talking about Illustrator. So if you've got no experience with Illustrator, we will be going through the bare basics of it um, at a later stage, either sort of later weeks this term, but definitely going into more detail next term in our third term. Um, but if you do want to learn how to use Illustrator and sort of just become a bit more comfortable with it, that video is here. The beginning of the video talks about Photoshop and the end of the video also talks about InDesign. So if you guys want to learn about those, feel free, but it's not compulsory. The class tutorial will be up now, literally thanks to these internet issues. Um, I just need to link it to the course. So whilst you're watching this video, it's grayed out, but I'm sure by the time you are watching it, this will actually be a link to the class tutorial. So you can follow that for the assignment. Then at the bottom of every week, there will always be a tasks and deadline uh, section. All right. So from now on, what I'm going to be doing is I'll give you the name of the assignment here and I'll turn it into a link so that when you click on it, it takes you straight to the actual assignment itself. All right. Here you'll find your instructions. So follow the provided tutorial, rig and animate the OSNAP file provided in class. I'll provide the tutorial here for you. And here's the OSNAP file in case you need it again. And that's all that you need to do. So simply just go and follow that video, render it out and upload to this on time. And uh, you don't need to then bring anything to class next week. This was kind of just a warm up as well as an introduction to the content that we'll be working on. And then we'll dive into our proper assignment or our first assignment rather, which is the idle animation next week in class. All right, so that's the navigation of Canvas. I believe that that's everything. Um, if you just quickly go to assignments so that I don't forget to show you this. I've set it up so that every week has its own assignments and I'll be publishing these every week so you won't see them all at once. Um, the OSNAP arm will be published by the time you see this video. And um, yeah, we'll be going through these different assignments week by week so we can check that out as well. Cool, but that's it from me. What you can do now is just go and watch the tutorial for the OSNAP animation, finish that up and then um, upload it to your assignments and you'll be finished. All right, enjoy the rest of your week. Sorry again for the um, inconvenience and uh, I'll catch you guys in our classes in week two. Ciao.